Testing, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I come with you, I, today, I come to you with a makeup tutorial. Yeah, I'm going to be doing like an easy makeup tutorial simple i'm just going to go into detail about how to do your makeup i'm just gonna be here telling explaining the process because like makeup is an art like makeup is an art and there are certain things you need to like nail to get that like great finish so there are certain things you have to there are certain steps you have to take i mean i'm not saying these are the steps <laughs> but like these are the steps i'm going to give you <laughs> my own steps i've been doing makeup for it's a hot minute it hasn't always been great i mean to me in those times it looked it looked pretty good but like fast forward now it's like the future the present it's it's it looks a little bit scary it's looking a little bit scary but you know that's why progress is a thing practice makes perfect but progress is not linear so in today's tutorial we're going to focus on getting you guys a flawless makeup look in total so let's make up that's what we're aiming for that's what we want that's our target that's our to like achieve that there are like a couple of steps you need to follow so we have your skin prep the products you're using your makeup placement your technique your application these things matter it's, like, it's not just like slapping makeup onto your face and like oh i'm done obviously nobody does that <laughs> i hope let me tell you see your makeup can be it can take as long as an hour to do maybe even more it can take as little as like 15 minutes depending on what you're going for depending on how much product you're using depending on what it is that you're trying to achieve but i digress so first step first thing we're going to focus on is your skin prep this is just like your skincare whatever you need to take care of your skin so you need to be cleansing you need to be toning you need to be moisturizing you need to have a skincare routine and if you don't go and get one go and buy one in the market right now something that's really key is having a really nice and moisturized face i already did like my skincare and everything earlier on cleanser toner moisturizer sunscreen if your sunscreen works really nicely under your makeup after your sunscreen what you're going to want to start off with is your primer so now you're prepping the canvas your canvas is your face so now you're prepping your canvas for your makeup you're going to be using this milk hydro grip primer there are different types of primers mattifying primer pore minimizing primer hydrating primer <laughs> if you have like really oily skin i would recommend like getting something that mattifies um or minimizes the amount of oil that seeps through your makeup while it dries down i'm going to be doing my brows and i'm going to be using this nyx lift and snatch and the brow glue from them <laughs> for my brows i'm not going to go in too heavy handed because that's not what i'm going for and you rest your pinky on your face for more stability i'm going to fill it in like like so. I can't find my spoolie. Essentially, what happens is if you go in too like harshly with your pencil, you want to like brush it out a little bit and like try to take some off. Depending on how accurate you are with your brow, how precise you are with like your the pencil you're using, you might not have to conceal. Don't forget to draw the tail of your brow. You want to take a concealer that's like your shade or maybe your foundation or a shade like lighter maybe like one or two shades lighter mix that and then like apply i'm going to be using this nars radiant creamy concealer in truffle and the type of brush you need i typically wouldn't use this brush but i um i would use a 
flat a very flat like edged brush if you have this this is fine too um, but like this is fine too so basically going to just like firstly stamp the concealer under your brow Follow, following the shape that you've drawn by the way because remember you're trying to clean it and then you're going to blend and see it now the other side now we're going to go to the foundation and so depending on also the type of foundation um the type of finish you're looking for there's like there are foundations that have dewy finishes there are foundations that have like um a more satin like finish and there's like foundation that has like a very matte finish once again your skin type comes into play but also the type of coverage you desire is also very important there's full coverage there's medium and then there's sheer so the sheer is more like really really light foundation or like skin tint and i know like not everyone likes to apply foundation and not everyone likes to apply it everywhere on their face but please let's do it away that's not applying foundation on your forehead you not like just it will not apply makeup on your forehead in general i understand like breakouts and all that if it's going to be a very large contrast between makeup and no makeup when you go outside it doesn't look as good as you think it does but yeah i'm going to place the foundation not everywhere just like around and I'm going to use this to spread out, even out the foundation. The foundation is already like pretty sheer. It's not full coverage. Normally, I would use this. It's dirty right now, so I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use something else. In tapping motions around my face. Like light tapping. I won't lie. I don't think I can see the foundation anymore. You can use either a beauty blender or um brushes so usually i would go in with this brush with this like um density i'm going to place my contour and i already know the shape but like for a starter you would want basically like to draw a three around the circumference the perimeter <laughs> of your face and you can also do this the fish face and get like the right point and so i'm just going to blend in upward motion add definition structure depending on how defined and how like precise you are with your placement and your blending now that i'm done with that i can go in with my brush brush will give you more coverage i'm going to start from the places that need i'll say the least concealer and i'm going to work my way into this side where it has the most concealer remember for concealers you just dab or tap or pat you're not dragging you're not like swirling you're just dabbing because if you drag or basically do any other thing you're going to take away from the coverage of the concealer you're going to like wipe it away so you want to tap dab pat we're going to start from the outer areas first and work our way into the um inner corner but like you can already see the blend is coming together you can see like how it's melting almost for my blush when i finish blending my concealer and my contour usually when i'm blending my contour actually i like to put my blush on and i just work with it 
and everything else because you're trying to set basically you're you want to um lay down all your liquids before you put your powder i'll usually like start off with like one dot and i like to place my cons my um blush on like the apples of my cheeks and like work it upward i'm going to bl blend my nose <laughs> so i'll use a more like defined brush for my contour my nose contour It might look a little bit scary, but don't worry, don't fret. And then I'll take like the remnants of my concealer that's on my brush and go a little bit, just like tap under my contour. Do your best to make sure you have like no creases, and then you can go in with your setting powder i'm going to use my Huda beauty setting powder in banana bread i'm just going to like tap into it a tad bit scary right now but not for long what i'm going to do now is take my born this way setting powder in Transparent deep and set this side. And while all that's like set, we're going to go in with our bronzer, this Fenty bronzer and this um, Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. Fenty bronzer, the Fenty bronzer is in Mocha Mami, and the Charlotte Tilbury is in War Deep. And then I'll just brush around my face. So what we're doing now is setting all the liquids. So we just set all our concealer placements now we're setting all our bronzer bronzer adds more warmth it's more about warmth not really like definition and then for the smaller areas i'll either like hold my brush like this spread it like a fan or go in with a smaller brush and for my blush i'm going to go in with this pink big blush it's pink the shade is Bold Hearts 04. And so then at this point, I like to dust off the excess powder on my face. And then I'll go in with my actual powder, my face powder, and um, reduce the brightness. Like, this is a little bit ashy. So I like to mix like this dark Sephora micro smooth in Sienna and this ruby life, ruby kisses, no more blemish and chestnuts. You guys, when I tell you I forgot to put my mic back on, I stood up briefly and I forgot to put my mic back, back on. I feel like it's been like 30 minutes. This is annoying, but it's okay. Spray your setting, your setting spray before you apply your powder and then after. So I'm going to spray right now. Mid beads setting spray. I'm going to do like mascara, eyeliner, and all that. Those are the next steps. So your eyes, you're done with your base. Next, your eyes. So I like to draw back my mold right here and then i'll put some extra moles around my face for mascara i use this ilia mascara you can literally see the difference between mascara and no mascara it's so cute it's so nice before i do the second one the second eye i'm going to prep my lash extension me and falsi is going to get a real bad when i went to lagos last time i got a bunch of lashes from wink beauty that's my favorite lash brand for my lash glue i'm going to use this duo put some glue on the lash band while i apply mascara on this eye
for lips i just like to go simple brown lip liner pink lip gloss red lip gloss nothing special I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I went ahead and like put some loose glitter and this Pat McGrath. I don't know what it's called. It's like pink and gold. So I used this. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Old 001 pigment. And this is Magnolia Makeup Loose Glitter. It's given princess. But yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. I'll probably do like another video of maybe I'll do like eyeshadow in that one because I, I didn't really do eyeshadow here I just used my bronzer as pigment and I used the rest of the pigments on my blush brush my blush brush and I used that as another layer that's really all I have on you guys saw the makeup look from start to basically finish um, yeah i hope you come back thank you so much for watching i'll see you soon